and welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie and this is the week 20 weekly wrap up May the 12th through the 18th. This is the week 20 wrap up for May the 12th through the 18th. And before I get into all of the books that I read last week, um, a little bit of an announcement, um, a little bit of, hey, this is what's going on in my life. Uh, well, last week, at the end of the week, uh, I had some life-changing information passed on to me. And if you follow me on Facebook or... If you have been reading some of my Instagram stories, you may vaguely know what's going on. Um, however, I am no longer uh, in my regular job, and now I have to fight uh, to get reinstated and everything like that. So life has uh, decided to take its little step in, and I have to deal with life. Um, the channel shouldn't suffer at all. I will still be trying to put out videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays and weekly wrap-ups on Wednesday. Um, however, it does depend on um, if I can get appointments and everything like that. I probably will have more to talk about during the weeks and, uh, you know, things like that. Hopefully I don't come off too salty and uh, mad because the thing that happened is upsetting me and it's stressful and you know, trying to find a job in this day and age is really sort of uh, time consuming. I haven't had to like really look for a job. I actively looked for jobs and stuff like that. But being that I am no longer with the federal government, um, circumstances, I guess, surrounding that, whew, it's very difficult to get back out there. So I'll be trying to do that and dealing with all of the circumstances around my leaving the federal government. So yeah, that's that's sort of what's going on. So hopefully that doesn't bring down the mood in my reading. Um, I did have, you know, put out there for the authors that I am participating with or working with that life and, um, you know, that might create some kind of slumps in a way uh, for my reading, what have you, and I hope to stay on track, but sometimes doesn't happen that way. So let's get into the stuff that you are here for, which is last week's reviews. Um, and to start off last week, I finished reading Where Bad Boys Are Ruined, Good Girls number three by Holly Renee. Uh, I place this in New Adult. I give this book 3.5 stars. I give it to Steam fans. I listened to it on audiobook. And I didn't, I was wasn't feeling this book as much as I was feeling the other two books in the series. This book follows Brandon and Charlie. Uh, Brandon is a tattoo artist that works in the shop that uh, Parker opened. And you know about the tattoo shop if you've read the other two books. And Charlie is a small business owner who has cupcakes and rents the space right next to the tattoo parlor. Like I said, this one, I was just like, ah, both of them were like, mm. and there's this like small hint to a love triangle for about 50% of the story. And then it just goes away. No explanation whatsoever. And I'm fine with love triangles, but this one just seemed like it was like, uh, I guess we're going to throw something new in there. And then it just kind of petered out and not even petered out. It was just like, one minute they're in a love triangle and then the next they're not and they're moving on to their relationship. I'm like, what? What happened? What what just happened? The next book that I finished was The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. I placed this in New Adult as well. I give this book four stars. I give it to Steam fans. I read it as an arc. It was also a new release last week. And this book follows Olive. She's a twin and her sister is getting married to Ethan's brother. Well, during the wedding reception, they all get sick, except for Olive and Ethan. Well, the wedding was built on 
sweepstakes and prizes and things like that and the honeymoon was based off of off of a sweepstake win so olive ends up taking the honeymoon trip for her sister and ethan goes along because it's his brother these two had a i guess you could say miscommunication when they first met and they think they hate each other but through the trip and getting to know each other they find out a lot of things there was a bit of a trope that i was like oh Oh, Olive, you need to tell your sister what is going on because that is just wrong, 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 so wrong, so, so wrong. But, you know, I loved the banter between Ethan and Olive and how they ended up getting to know each other. It was sexy in a small little way and, you know, it was fun. I really it did enjoy it and I look forward to reading more Christina Lauren books. The next book that I read was Crazy Cupid Love, which is Let's Get Mystical number one by Amanda Hager. I read this and I place it in new adult fantasy and I give this book four stars. I give it three steam fans. I read it as an arc. I actually received it as an arc back in January. It came out in February around the time that these two characters um, are all about, you know, they are Cupids and we're living in a time where Cupids are known. They have businesses and things like that. And oh, Eliza is a twin and she's also a Cupid. So she was born on February 14th. She is a Cupid that has kind of bad luck and everything whenever she tries to play love match she messes some messes some crap up like just craziness she'll drop something on someone's foot and all of a sudden they're in love with her and yeah it's just sort of crazy now it did take me a little while to get into this book i was actually going to dnf this book but then i it started to roll along and I got used to the format and everything like that. And I really liked Eliza in this book because you got to see how she felt like, you know, she was just, I can't be a Cupid. I'm just not made out for this. It's just, I have this bad luck of being born on February 14th and being a Cupid and it's just not working for me. And through it, you find that she finds herself and she finds her place in this new world and or this new time frame, what have you. And then there's this mystery that goes along with it, which I really sort of enjoyed and sort of grabbed me into it. And I want to say about the 50% mark, there was this sexy moment that I was like, oh, what? Where did that come from? Ooh, I'm real interested now because the sexy parts come when her and her sort of, I guess, high school crush, Jake, who's back in town, who's actually a Cupid as well, um, you know, they have to work together and they, they start to talk about their feelings and there's some sexy parts in there and I really, really enjoyed this book. The next book that I read was Protecting Their Princess, a Snow White romance, filthy dirty romances i think it is or fairy tales number three by parker gray i actually dnf this book and i give it three star or three fans and actual three stars i listened to it on audiobook and i believe that the reason i dnf'd it and did not finish it and am comfortable with giving it three stars and three steam fans is because I have a feeling if I was to physically read this book that I would be okay with it. I think the audiobook narrators were trash for this one. Just not, did not fit the story or how it was being read. It just, nah, nah. So, and it also didn't fit the character sort of being that we had already, you know, met. Because we met Bianca in the book number two. She is the best friend and also a princess of a country. She all of a sudden gets these death threats. And Beckett and Kieran are the best friends to the other two that we, other two characters that we already met. A prince and another prince I believe I believe they're both princes but yeah you've already we've already met them and you know they sort of gave these little pieces off and the voices just didn't match and it just really annoyed me and I was just like nope I can't do it but I think the story would go along well 
at least I hope fingers crossed I might try and read that later on the next book that I read was One Last Chance by Molly O'Keefe. I place this in erotic short story. I give it 3.75 stars. I give it three steam fans and I listen to it on the podcast of Read Me Romance. Read, read me romance. And I really sort of enjoyed it. This is a what do we do with our relationship when it's not going good Jake has sent Natalie divorce paperwork and Natalie's like I know I did you wrong when we were married and I didn't give my all but you know what I have figured it out and I want to save our marriage but I know you're mad at me and I did you wrong so how can I sort of fix this and Jake is like okay I don't want to let you fix it but I do love you and you get to see sort of their sexy time and then when they get to that moment where they're like nope I'm gonna put my foot down and this relationship is over and you know what happens when feelings are finally told and people actually start to open up and then the final thing that I read last week was The Darkest Minds, Darkest Minds number one by Alexandra Bracken. I place this in young adult dystopian. Um, I give this book four stars. I give it one steam fan. And this, if you don't know, is a trilogy with a spinoff book. And I'm reading it for Romance genre -thon. It also has a movie adaptation. I read or I watched the movie a couple of weeks ago, which definitely pushed me into reading this book. And I listened to it on audiobook, by the way. Um, I really enjoyed it. I liked the... I guess you can say the differences. I actually enjoyed the movie. I really enjoyed the book. I love that they sort of follow each other, but they don't, there's more information in the book, but I think they pulled out all of the pivotal goodness from the book and put it into the movie that made me really want to read the book and read the series and see how it continues on. Now, I did like in the movie how they changed it up and made it quite diverse, like really diverse. In the book, you really feel like it is like hashtag white. Sorry, that's just my opinion. Um, so I liked that I had that diverse sort of characteristic in my mind that I could like put faces to and stuff like that. So if you don't know what the story is about, Ruby is a young woman that or young girl who's like 16 now. The United States had this sort of virus that broke out that was attacking our children and they were all gathered up because they were either dying or they had these ended up having these special powers and they created the government created this psi um command type thing so that all the children were in camps and it was just bad they were like slaves and they were getting tested on and all kinds of craziness well ruby ends up getting broken out by this woman named kate and then she doesn't feel like she's safe and she meets a group of other kids chubbs liam and but they meet another another young girl I'll put it in there somewhere. But they meet another little girl and they start to travel the West Virginia, Virginia area and to find where the slip kid is and also where the other kids with powers are, how they've sort of, you know, come together and are living on their own, even though they don't have parents and stuff like that. So this is a dystopian world and I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to get to the next book and I'm excited about that. What am I currently reading? This is what I'm currently reading. I am a reading, I'm about 50% into Twisted, which is Tangled Web number one by Alethea Roman. And we have now, I've now met Laurel and I'm really enjoying the dark and the dark side and psychological that side that is Alethea's writing 
I have missed it and I am reading it is in physical form so with everything that was going that is going on in my life reading a physical book is a little bit challenging but I will have time on my hands here in the near future so I will be reading that and completing that it does release on May the 21st so Tuesday so make sure you go if you like romantic sort of twisty psychological thriller uh suspenseful stories check out this first book it is a trilogy so it will be i know it's gonna leave in a bit of a cliffhanger uh so yeah and it revolves around laurel making a pharmaceutical or drug that is going to possibly help people with PTSD and then you have this mysterious guy that shows up at um sort of a fundraiser named Cater and you she, Laurel doesn't know his name she just knows that he has this like is given off pheromones that's like I need to know who you are. You're a hot and sexy man, even though she's sleeping with a doctor that she works with to get that, you know, physical need and stuff. So there's sexiness and stuff like that. So I'm really enjoying it. I don't want to give too much more away because then you know the story. But I'm not done with the story, so I can't spoil too much, right? And then I am also reading After by Anna Todd. Yes, I am doing this. I am about 25% into it. And... I have to say, I'm actually kind of enjoying it. I've had my adult hat off, and um, like at the 6% mark, I was like, oh my god, Tess is this little entitled like young lady that is just crazy. And I still sort of say that because she is 18 years old, she's new to college scene, and you know, she's doing some stupid stuff. But then I'm like, okay, let me think... What was I sort of like when I was 18, 19, 20 years old? And I could see going through or doing things that she's doing. Now, mind you, I wouldn't have done those things. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't have had that mentality. Um, but I could sort of, and I wouldn't have been friends with her. I would have been like, Psh. And one of the characters is named Stephanie, too, so that's real funny. But uh, if I was that Stephanie character who happens to be a roommate, I would have been like, nah, bitch. I'm, I'm, nope, I can't with you right now, you and your eliteness, I can't even be friends with you, I'm not going to invite you around, that's how I would have dealt with it, so, then, the, but then there wouldn't have been a story, so, yeah, so, that is all the stuff that I read last week, the things that I am reading now, I will be trying to read more, because it's coming week, so I have more to talk about besides just Twisted and After. Um, I am going to be continuing on with those series. <sighs> I'm going to wrap this up now because I've been talking for a long time. Um, have you read any of the books that I just named off? What are your thoughts on them? Let me know down in the comment section. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel. Thank you for watching and we will see you guys later.